Hello everyone, this is Tony. Welcome back to your Trophy Food Experiences. Today I'm doing a review of Ji Li Restaurant, which is located in the China city of Zhuhai in the Guangdong province. The address is 1669 GD Road in the Duman district. And it's a, quite a famous restaurant um, for Chinese cooking. It's been around for almost 40 years and it's huge in terms of the scale. It's about the size of our department stores. It's two floors. They've got like 40 private rooms, as you can see um, in the photos and videos I'm gonna show. They've got a huge selection of seafood. Um, so Zhuhai is a city in China that's about an hour and a half uh, drive from Hong Kong. It's right across the border, uh, very close to about five minutes away from Macau. So it's um, a port city. It's called the Chinese Riviera. A uh, very clean and nice city. So uh, I was really fortunate to visit there and uh, I was taken to this restaurant. So some of the dishes I won't be able to describe in detail because I was I don't have the menu and I don't know the pricing, but um, it's supposed to be a really, really uh, famous restaurant in um, Zhuhai. So on the wall, they've got multiple awards from different uh, Chinese agencies. I don't think Michelin does ratings in China, but uh, if they would, um, definitely this restaurant we recommended, perhaps even one star Michelin um, in terms of the service standard and the food variety is incredible. The scale of it is um, unbelievable in terms of from North American standards, it'd be like bigger than any restaurant that I can figure that we've I've ever been to in North America. This is the entranceway, man, very grand. They've got this little... Um, uh, mascot at the front which is kind of cute this is the main dining hall on the first floor um, it's quite large and then in the second floor there's rooms uh, of various sizes some can fit maybe like 80 or 100 people some can fit maybe 10 people um, some of the rooms are have some living like almost like a living room quarter and then a table in our room there was a Chinese tea preparation room followed by a dining room and also your own personal bathroom. So really large scale. For those of you who have not been to China, I think you would be um, incredibly amazed by the size and scale. So most restaurants will specialize in one thing. There's a lot of seafood, but they also have a lot of meats. And as you can see, they have a meat station and you'll see later on, they have a full on um, aquarium of fish and seafood. Short video of the area, you can pick your own seafood, which is the size of most small restaurants here. So you can see the number of fish they have here. Um, then we go to some shrimp, uh, other types of uh, geoduck, crab, everything that you can think of. And this is all local because it is a port city on the river. So it's a lot of this. These are some of the other like uh, clams, uh, snails, um, these are uh, the uh, oyster clams and all the type of different things like. And so now, again, this is just another shot of some of the um, specialized uh, crabs that they have. So we're gonna uh, focus on this. We did grab a couple of these. These were delicious. And they're kind of like soft shell crabs that you can actually eat the shells. We were also fortunate. These are sea worms, which are in season and are a local product. And uh, you'll see later on they're made in a kind of a s omelet style with eggs and garlic. Um, delicious. So yeah, it kind of uh, you're thinking sea worms doesn't look that appetizing, but actually when they actually cook it up, it's actually quite delicious. This is local abalone, which is kind of um, smaller in size, maybe about 12 or 15 teal. Um, but I thought it'd be interesting to take the um, raw product picture and then uh, later on show you what they do after they cook it. So a lot of expertise in terms of how to deal with um, different seafood that they have in Zhuhai. Another video of the seafood. So this is not in a market. This is actually inside the restaurant. Um, so you can see um, everything that you have here. Um, clams, uh, eel duck, fish. Um, there are various types of different, and these are all local fish. Um, then you have some uh, as prawns, uh, lobster was there, crab. Um, just the variety is unbelievable in terms of what, um, and different types of shrimp, different types of prawns, 
um, all local. So now we're up in the second floor and these are the hallways leading to the various rooms. Again, they are in various sizes from anywhere from maybe for 10 people to up to 100 people. This is a shot of our private table. I was um, taken as a guest and so I didn't, I wanted to be a little bit more discreet with our pictures. Um, didn't want to waste people's time and stuff like that. So, um, and then to the right would be a, another separate room that's a tea room that they have a full a facility to pour out tea, Chinese tea and prepare it there. Let's start with the food. So the first thing were just um, kind of baby prawns. Um, they were smaller than in size than our spot prawns, but just as tasty. Um, I think spot prawns in BC are a little bit firmer, but both are very sweet. And these are a little bit smaller in terms of size, but again, excellent start to the meal. We were served this fish and I'm sorry, I don't know the name of it. I'm not great with fish, but if someone knows what this fish is, please let me know in the comment section. It's supposed to be an exotic fish that's local and pretty expensive and really tasty. It has got a firm taste to it. Um, so, and um, it's quite nice in terms of the texture of it is firm, but very smooth and soft too. So I did enjoy the fish. Next was the barbecued and roast pork. And so this came from the first couple of pictures downstairs they have kind of a meat uh, cutting station. Um, so I thought this was decent. Um, again, with Chinese cooking, there's so many specialized restaurants in this domain. And I would say uh, the quality was good, but I wouldn't say it's, uh, you know, the best I've ever had. So, um, you know, good quality. Next dish was razor clams prepared over some vermicelli with garlic and some uh, peppers. Um, a very similar dish, uh, he appears at Pang's Kitchen in Causeway Bay, which is a one-star Michelin uh, restaurant in Hong Kong. So both are really good. Um, I'd give the nod to that dish over this dish, but the quality here was quite good. So um, in my opinion, this would be definitely um, recommended. If Michelin was in Zhuhai, it would be a Michelin recommended restaurant at least. So this next dish is actually a cultural heritage item. And so this is the double shelled crab. And so these crabs are half and then steamed and then removed from the shell. So um, you can kind of eat the kind of the soft part of the better part of the shell. Um, and also the legs, you can actually eat them. They're so soft. Um, and it's really interesting because they have different types of crabs. So this one you eat basically for the flavor of the um, innards and um, you know the softness of the crab. Um, there's other crabs that are a little bit larger that you eat for meat. And so they were all discussing the different types of crabs and the meat ratio and things like that. But this is just a delicious um, item. These are the local abalone and they're prepared in almost like a Japanese mayonnaise sauce, um, but they were very tender. So um, I was amazed because um, it only was like 10 or 15 minutes um, by the time we got, uh, chose the abalone to the time we got up to the table. And so um, they were really actually quite uh, tender. Um, so that was quite a surprise to me. I'm not sure what this is in English, but I'm sure that many uh, Chinese viewers will be very familiar with this dish. Um, it's almost like a fatty pork. Um, and you can see the fat there, delicious. Probably not the best thing you should have, um, but it was quite delicious. And the sauce was a little bit on the sweet side. So um, I found a lot of their cuisine was um, slightly on the sweet side um, of things, which I actually prefer. This is the eel dish and it looks almost like a cake, but it's almost like an omelet. And there's some um, kind of chives and then lots of garlic in there. Um, with the kind of an omelet style, and then you have the um, sea worms. The sea worms don't have any uh, bones inside, and they have the taste of maybe like anchovies, um, and they're a little bit on the salty side, so um, it goes quite well with the garlic and the um, omelet or the egg part of this uh, dish. Close up of the sea worms. 
Um, again, it's a delicacy and we were fortunate because they're not always in season, but it was in season. And uh, Jili is one of these um, places that um, prepares this in the traditional style and is uh, very experienced over 40 years um, experience in preparing this type of traditional dish. The food kept rolling out, so I didn't take pictures of every one of our dishes, but it was uh, substantial in terms of the number of dishes. This is the end, and there's two things here. One is another cultural heritage item. The small little things are called um, Xiaofeng cakes, or chicken-shaped cakes in Cantonese dim sum. Um, they have a golden crispy crust, and inside they have pork, sugar, white sesame seeds, melon seeds, olives, and other fillings. Um, it's kind of savory when it enters the mouth and then it tastes like caramel at the end. Very fattening, um, so you can't really have that much of it. And the other um, kind of ball there, the white ball, is kind of, um, you would have that in some dim sum places, like a ball filled with uh, lotus uh, paste. And, you know, I'll see the close up of that, or red bean paste, I think, in this situation. Um, it's a specialty. And I think they only use egg whites, so it's very soft. It has the texture of uh, marshmallows. And it is kind of a trade secret. So with these buns, you actually cannot, you have to eat them and order them there. They will not let you take them home uh, for fear of other people kind of copy them or uh, reverse engineering how they, they're done. But it kind of tastes, it's really neat. I've never seen this anywhere else in the world. Um, it, it's almost like um, they use egg whites and it tastes, it has the consistency of a marshmallow. And you'll see there's the red bean paste inside, but it's very fluffy. And then the uh, red bean paste inside is very um, concentrated. And um, yes, it's got a marshmallow um, souffle type of uh, texture, which is really interesting. So all in all, really recommend if you are in Zhuhai going to this restaurant, um, it's just exceptional in terms of the variety and the seafood um, that they offer. Um, the quality of service is great. Now, the only thing is I didn't pay for the meal, so I'm not sure how expensive it is. I gathered that it's not really that inexpensive uh, because it's a pretty nice place, but um, I really enjoyed the meal. Hope you enjoyed this review. Until next time, happy eating.